Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and for everybody who's new here. My name is Vanessa, I'm 26 years old and I do makeup as a hobby on YouTube and Instagram. I've been on YouTube for about two years now and yeah, all my socials will be linked down below. It's going to be a short video. I'm just going to show you real quick how I do my base. If you're interested in that, just please keep on watching and let's just dive right into the video. All right, so I just filmed this eye look. What do you think? If you haven't seen the video, it's like the previous video from before. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. So I primed my face with this primer from Revolution. It's a hydrating one. I have very dry skin. And then I started putting and blending out a warm toned stick foundation. This is the Makeup Obsession in DO2. They only have one stick um, foundation. They are from Makeup Revolution, like it's an uh, underbrand. And also what I did get rid of my dark circles under the eyes and I used a very warm toned concealer from Essence Cosmetics. It's like in the shade Dark Caramel. And I buffed this out and now I'm blending in with my Real Technique Expert Face Brush. Pretty much the rest of this. I also like to use a very hydrating, is this the Hase? A very hydrating fixing spray. This is actually a hyaluronic spray and it's from a German uh, drugstore brand. Very like nature based, organic and um, yeah, I really like this. Put this on and now I'm just gonna buff this out. I'm trying to get a lot of dimension in the face so that's why I'm using always at least three different foundation shades or two different foundation shades and then I'm using like one concealer, sometimes two to highlight. But the foundation stick right now is gonna do all the highlight, which is great. So yeah, always trying to like, yeah, pretty much enhance my high cheekbones. So yeah, I'm just buffing this out. It looks very unblended and uneven right now. Just using a smaller brush to do the detail work in a second. It's almost like how you would do any eye look. You place down where you want the product to be and then you use different brushes to buff it out. I'm accidentally letting this very like unblended because as I said, I'm gonna go ahead and use a different brush. For one, a small like very like, it's a blending brush and I just do like the inner quarters right here. Now I'm just gonna like buff out a little bit. Like I'm just tapping this to blend the edges and right here as well. Don't want it to be too sharp, but I want the color difference to be seen. But if I just tap this on top, it's just gonna soften it out. That's why I love this brush so much because it makes your job like so much easier. Pretty much now it's time to set. I'm gonna leave this because I'm gonna do this at the end. For setting, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use a pretty like dark for me shade. It's the Huda Beauty Easy Baking Powder in the shade Blondie. I love the shade. And this is gonna be to set like pretty much my whole face. And then I'm gonna go with the Laura Mercier cause it's just lighter, it's the translucent one uh, to highlight. So I'm using this brush like so. It has like a lot of like rust product on my face cause like I'm very dewy right now. So I'm just grabbing the product. I found this out, like I just did this one time and it made my application of my powder way smoother. And that's if you have too much excess product, it's just gonna make you look cakey and very like, in my opinion, it's just not gonna look nice. As you can see, it's like a lot of product on there. I'm dipping into the powder. I'm using the net to kind of like dust it off and get like the whole product, like pretty even on my face. And now I'm just gonna like dust this all over my face. And because it's very fine, it's literally gonna set your face in like a very 
smooth way. People like to use pressed powder. Yeah, they like to use this like, I don't know, people bake with this. I don't see myself baking with this, so. Just gonna put this on. I'm using a shit ton of product on my forehead because I feel like I need it the most. Powder, not foundation. The less product is on your forehead, the less you see, ugh. the less you're gonna see um, any type of, like you, you will see or you won't see that much that you're wearing makeup. So I'm just setting like my whole face. And the reason as to why is because I want to put on powder bronzer and if it's not set, it's just going to be very patchy. I'm using a smaller brush, um, something like so. And I need a mirror. I'm going to take care of these under eyes. Now I'm using my e.l.f. Cosmetics um, beauty sponge and I'm buffing out my nose. I never used to contour my nose, but now I kind of like doing it. Also, like, it looks great on pictures. And then I'm using this brush and go on top. Just like so. Tip it, tip it, tip it, tip. Right. Now. Tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. What is this? Tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. Let's just put it in the wool. I'm gonna go ahead and start applying bronzer. I just don't know which one I'm using yet. I'm gonna use the Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer in the shade medium. The reason as to why is because, like, look at the pan size first. So I will never ever use this up in my entire life. I already know. And then um, I like the tone because it's pretty like dark. This is like very pigmented. It can go very like patchy very fast. So I'm picking it up. I don't know how to show it. And then I'm just like getting like a pretty even application where I feel like it's smooth. And then I start like applying step by step. I'm gonna start in my hairline because that's pretty much where I want the color to start. Going just on my hairline. That's why I always try to make sure that I set everything. And as you can see, it looks very dark, like almost like contour. You have to know how to apply it. And then I slightly go over my forehead because I don't want it to be like too dark. And I don't want it to be too light. I want a very nice brown bronzed forehead. And if you just do like the outside, it's gonna look weird in the middle, at least for me. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this like so. And then once I get to my cheekbones, what I want is the bronzer to be like right on my cheekbone. So I'm just gonna Trying to use the brush and like apply this pretty um, soft and step by step. It's like very bronze as you can see. I also did a video where I tried this out. It just makes you look so bronzed. So now I'm just gonna get some shape down here. I'm gonna take care of my nose, just like going on top with a fluffy brush first. Dipping into all this and then, cause it's like the smallest amount. So it won't go on too patchy. And then we're gonna put a lot of highlighter on that strip and it's gonna look amazing. It's gonna contour this nose, make it like a cutie nose. All right, so this is so far how everything looks like. If you weren't happy, you could go ahead and just like do, go on top of some powder to fix it or whatever, but I don't feel like I need to. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead with the Laura Mercier. I always used to, like back then, I used to mix the Huda Beauty and the Laura because it would give me like the, almost like the, uh, what's it called, the translucent that they did in Honey. That was almost like, I think, the shade of it if you mix those two. It was pretty great. So now I'm using a fresh brush, dipping into the Laura Mercier powder. And I'm gonna apply this like on my eyes, underneath my eyes, I mean just to like highlight. I know I look crazy. I know I look crazy. But once I'm done with everything and I set my face, my base is gonna look cute. Using my e.l.f. sponge, and now I'm gonna apply this on my nose. Yeah, and I'm pretty much going to let this sit for a second. And in the meantime, I want to apply blush, but I don't know what shade to use. I'm using the Roxy palette. I haven't done or used this in some time. I'm probably going to use this shade right here. It's like very mauve because this one is too, too much. And I want it to be like pretty light. Yeah, I'm going And this goes on top of my bronze, and it's just supposed to give me some life. <laughs> a little bit all over my face to make everything cohesive. I always do that. All right, and now we're dusting everything off. Something is very patchy right here. I don't know. It's always like that on my skin, no matter what product I'm using. It's just my skin is just like that. There you go. Like, that's pretty much my base. I'm going to set this and then I'm going to put on highlighter. And then I will come back when, like, my whole face is done. But that's pretty much how it looks like. It looks pretty intense. Blush and stuff, everything's going to fade. And it's going to photograph pretty nice. I want to let you know that this is just for photograph. Like, it's pretty, you know, intense. I wouldn't do my makeup for outside like that. But on photograph, it's going to look pretty great. So I'm setting with the... It's fixing spray and this is also gonna woof, make everything dewy not as powdery more like put together so yeah i'm gonna be right back all right so i'm done and this is my base as you can see now with everything on it just looks not as bad as it did before if you are interested in this eye look, like I said before, it is on my channel, so go ahead and watch it. I will link it. If there's anything you need to know, please let me know. Uh, comment on my video or connect with me on Instagram and my other socials. Everything will be linked down below. Please come and support. It would literally mean the world to me because it's so nice to see people subscribing, following me on my socials, talking to me, commenting. All that stuff it's like so exciting and so nice so for anybody who already has done that thank you so much also thank you so much for watching and i hope i see you in the next one bye